too. Like, let let me know when you want. Let me know when you want the high level view of the game, and I'll start again. Hit me. Um. Basically, uh, this game you return from like holiday. Uh, with your friends from an island and everyone's gone and killer robots are roaming the land. Off you go now. Cool. No, oh, that's what I thought. I just played it for... Oh, bless you. Oh, fucking hell. Ah, everything hurts. Ah. I look like Mac fucking Guyver. <laughs> the uh the character skins are quite hilarious. There's like um what in the dick is this? Like the the metal head is like uh um there's two di- how is that a metal head? I know there's like two different types of metal heads. It's like the leather jacket wearing like um uh like they're a fan of the Ramones. Um, and then there's the other one with like the bandana and they're going to like Grateful Dead. I was about to say my hands are freaking like ghost white and I was like oh yep Sweden. Where there's sunshine but not melatonin apparently. After World War II Sweden enjoyed an economic boom from having come. And the <laughs> neutrality had come at the cost of integrity as the poor readiness. <coughs> I thought you were leaving it at Sweden had come. (laughs) (laughs) It forced the country to make deals with Hitler. Hitler! Intent on not ending up in the same situation again, Sweden's newfound riches were invested in so-called total defense. The ability to protect the border, while also shielding and maintaining civilian life. Over the coming years, Sweden massively increased military spending, whilst organizing the civilian preparedness for what increasingly seemed like an inevitable invasion from the east. If a man, woman, a child was thrilled to be ready for war, knowing exactly what to do, where to go, and when the sirens sounded, and most importantly, to offer resistance at all times, in all situations. Okay. <laughs> That's d- the end, Sweden. <laughs> I love that. Offer resistance in any situation. Be difficult. You and some classmates have spent a few days out of the archipelago cut off from the world. As you return, your boat is- Fuck off! I wasn't done reading yet. <laughs> did it just cut you out? Yeah, it just cut me off. Uh, I think it did that to me, too. That's a dead something. Okay. It looks like um like a skeletal suit thing, but um, yeah. Lots of blood for a robot. An exos- exoskeleton. That's what I was trying. An exosuit. Search the house for anything of use. Why would the lights be flickering? Oh, whatever. Well, they look fluorescent, and in my experience, that's what fluorescent bulbs do. They just flicker. Somebody's smoking in the bathtub. Only the worst of the worst people in the movies do that. Or French. Well, uh, oh, it's you, redundant. I was gonna say that. I was gonna say or the French. We oui, oui, are having a smoke in the fucking bathroom. <laughs> no, I went Scotch like halfway through that. Yeah, it was like a <laughs> like a pseudo French. Look, look, look! I found something that you've never seen before. Look, what? Give me. You're American, right? That's a stick. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, what are you doing with so many bullets in your car? Bullet delivery? I deliver them with a gun. Uh, that's the thing. Beep, beep, ah, uh, sheep. Beep, beep, ah, uh, sheep. I believe the thing saw me. Yep, that was it. definitely saw me. Kind of assumed I couldn't kill those, but it's okay. Ow. (laughs) 
Oh, she feels silly. No. Blinking over there. Oh. And more shooting. I see. No, there's something standing there. It looks bigger. Oh, oh yeah, it was Panther. That one had a shotgun. Twelve gauge birdshot ammo. Nice. Oh, fuck. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's a little one. Do you, you see it? From? Yeah, it's it jumped at you. Yeah, they they sound really weird, but the the medium sized ones seem to drop them when combat starts. It's weird. <laughs> Police within us. Policia. Oh shit. I thought it was down. Did you drop a little one? Because I'm on 12 health. I don't hear it. What good would birdshot do? That's just rock salt, isn't it? Don't we need buckshot? No, it's uh, tiny steel balls. Or wait. You can shoot at a person with it. No, uh, no. Yeah, actually, you might be right. Um... I don't know what 12 gauge birdshot is. I thought it was smaller pellets. That's no, not... 12 gauge is just the size of the barrel, isn't it? I know, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they. Because, like, 22 birdshot is just sand. Like, literally. Hmm. Um. But I know 12 gauge. 12 gauge is not. Oh. That's a, that's a cliff. Um, that, that is a clip. That's a little bit of a clip, yeah. It, I can either use an adrenaline shot or abandon. I gotcha. You look like you have a tummy ache. <laughs> I do. Everything <laughs> else aches too, but... Yeah, especially uh, my tummy. Oh. I heard something. So you shot? Yeah, something... Where is it? There. Another one. Two more. Another one behind the red shed. Coming out. Yo. Huh? Sup? Yeah. Sup? Yeah. What's sup? So, Jason told me a key bit of information that I needed. And he told me after I made an irreversible purchase. Uh, okay. I bought Monster Hunter World. No. Why can't you just refund it? That's what I did. I bought a key. Ah, uh, fair enough. I bought the key because I saw it was on sale. I'm like, oh, this is something we've all wanted to play. I'm just going to do this without consulting anybody. And then I told Jason, and he's like, you should not do that at yeah. all. I'm like, oh. And he told me the one problem was you can't play multiplayer with it. I'm like, oh. The, so the whole point of the <clears throat> game is to do that, and you can't do it anyway. That's good. I'm going to use the restroom. Uh, you start the game, I guess, and... Uh, then invite both of us? This is what I'm trying to do, but everybody's yelling and Jason's laughing, and my voice language is Swedish. Yorgy borgy 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 borgy.